Hey everyone, Box Clover back again with a um, new series that I'm starting for one of my subscribers who wanted to see um, more of how you start to play EVE online. Um, so yes, yeah, Scofer, it's mainly for you and I hope I do well. I'm not very good at tutorials but um, I'm going to do this as a let's play as an alpha character. I've started a new account because it's free so I don't have to pay anything because I've already got five or six accounts which I pay for and obviously I don't want to pay any more. Um, so you have a choice. You can either use um, real money to um, get an Amiga account or play it for free to start with and you don't pay anything and you can actually earn money in game eventually. It costs quite a lot mind you so it would take a while but the problem with um, an alpha, you only get 500, uh, 5 million skill points. Once you reach 5 million skill points, as an alpha character, you won't be able to train into any other skills. Um, so that is the restriction. And also the other restriction for an alpha character rather than Amiga is that your training time is double. So for argument's sake, if one skill will take an Amiga character one hour to train, it will take you two as a free character. Now you have four choices of races, as you can see in front of you. You've got Jalenti or Gurlenti, whichever way you like to pronounce it, Minmatar, Kaldari and Amar. Now I'm going to go through all of these with you. Um, so this basically first video is roughly about the races, their types of ships that you can fly um, and that's basically it really. Um, I'm going to get to the character screen but I'm not going to actually show me creating the character because I mean that's self-explanatory. I want to create the character and then start the let's play an alpha character. I'm not going to get it Amiga but anyway Let's go for the first one. Let's look at Jalenti. I haven't made up my mind yet which one that I'm actually going to show as um, a let's play. Um, so I'll do that when I try and um, create the character. But Jalenti, this is their type of ship. That's about a ship which you won't have access to. Um, the Itron, the cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. You will have access to the smaller ones. This long one is one of the, I think it's one of the Amiga ones. This is what you will get when you first start the game. You'll get a Velator. Um, this is after you do the tutorial. I will do the tutorial with you um, when we start the game off. Um, that will probably be in the next video. But a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining combat exploration duties. So that, that's the Galenti, the Velator. Um, the Namorlis, a high-tech frigate designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons on other ships. So that's a support ship. And Imicus, a specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration. And then up to the battleship. They just show those types. Um, and the type of weapons they use. Galenti Federation Technology will be specialised in close range combat so that we can defeat our enemies before they have the chance to escape. <laughs> With the right training, a Galenti pilot will be able to fly any ship regardless of the craft's Empire affiliation. So, you can fly all four races ships as long as you've got the skills for it. So you can fly a um, Kaldari, um, Kaldari Minmitar, Amar or Galanti ship as long as you've got the skills to fly their frigates you have to buy them obviously but there is a way you get some free skills by doing the career plan which is in the game um, we'll see all that when we um, actually start playing Blaster weapon and drones short range high damage blasters can rip through shields and armor with the help of our smart drones um, they do armor tanking as well as the Amar Amar do armor tanking Galenti do armor tanking and Calderi and Minmata. Minmata can do the both I think but the majority of um, Kaldari is shield tanking and I think Minmata can do both of them if I'm 
correct. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they can. Using heavy armor to advance our advances, our fleet forces on rapid armor repair. And then you get the Galentis themselves. The Galenti Federation represents hundreds of diverse peoples united by the ideals of freedom and democracy. The pursuit of innovative technologies contributes to the most advanced economy in all of New Eden. Our powerful fleet guards our world from tyranny. Kaldari is their main enemy and the pirate enemy is Serpentis. The relentless hunger of Kaldari mega corporations puts them at clear odds with the Federation's principles, resulting in years of bloody conflict. We will not stand idly by as their policies violate the rights and liberties of individuals in a rightful Galenti space. That always seems to re uh, reflect the French people to me, uh, the Galenti. Um, whether that's correct or not, I don't know, but it does um, to me anyway. And their main enemy is the Serpentis, the, the rats, what we call the rats. Okay, that's the Galenti. Let's go and look at Minmatar. Let's go back to their ships. These are the Minmatar ships. And that's the Tempest, which is a battleship. Again, you won't have access to it. Um, a powerful, flexible battleship commonly seen in Minmatar combat fleets. The Probe. Probe's quite a good ship, actually. Um, and it's a frigate. Um, a specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration, but you can use it for fighting as well. And then the Reaper, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilized for basic mining, combat and exploration duties. So this is your first ship. This is the free one. You'll get that for free when you come in. And then you get uh, haulers, mammoth a cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. So that's that one. So they're the Minmatar ships. And their weapon systems, there we go. Minmatar Republic Tunnel Sea, we are hit and run tactics to fight when outnumbered. Our vessels are fast and light, allowing us to effectively control engagements. When properly trained, our pilots are capable of flying any ship in the cluster, regardless of its originating empire. See there? That's all of them, so you can fly all of them. This is the same same you'll get in all four races if you've got the skills, so you can fly them all, like I said earlier. Projectile weapons are their main weapon. Uh, yeah, the shield tanks, look. Active shield tanking allows us to rapidly return to battle while maintaining speed and agility. Our projectile weapons can use a wide range of ammunition with both high damage, long range artillery, and rapid fire, firing short range auto cannons. <clears throat> so that's their, that's their main area, and their, their shield tanks. And this is the Jalenti people. Uh, wait a minute, not Jalenti, Minmatar. <laughs> After centuries of subjugation, we rose up and cast off our slavers' shackles. The proud, proud, <clears throat> was a proudly result, rebuilt nation. Oh, well, my reading comprehension. <laughs> nation of Matar will free every soul still enslaved across the cluster. Together we will forge our own destiny at home and among the stars. So again, their their main enemy is the M Amar Empire, and their angel cartel is their pirate enemy. Um, they give actually good drops on the angel, so I don't know. Um, I still haven't made up my mind what I'm going to use as a race for this particular um, playthrough, but we'll see. And that's that one. Let's go to Kaldari. Let's go to their ships first. These are the Kaldari ships. That's your freebie. Uh, Ibis, a new pilot's first ship which can be utilised. Again, same thing as the others. Um, Griffin. I don't have any experience with the Griffin. I've never flown it. Um, designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons on other ships. Um, Raven are flown, but you won't have access to that as an Alpha. Um, nice ship. And that's the Hauler, the Badger. And the Heron is a specialised frigate designed for scouting and exploration. So they basically on each one show you the main ships that you get when you get into the game, or you can expire to train to. But again, Ami um, Alphas 
are restricted in what they can fly. You can go up to, I think it's cruisers, maybe battle cruisers, but when we get into the game I'll show you the, the, the ship tree which will show whether you can fly or not. Right, weapons, they're mainly missiles. Kaldari State Technology. As innovators of hybrid weapon technology, we strike from a distance, dominating the battle without sacrificing accuracy. Highly skilled pilots can earn the necessary qualifications to fly any vessel, even those not designed by the Kaldari. So, yes, again. Hybrid weapons. The deadly combination of guided missile tech and punishing railguns allow us to switch between damage types quickly and efficiently. Again, they're shield tankers, like I said. Our vessels focus on shield repair through the use of both passive, recharging and module designed to actively address damage. So, again, they've got shield tanking. And there's their people. Their main enemy is the Galenti. The Galenti have unlawfully occupied our home world of Kaldari Prime. We defy their occupation and we defend our settlements to the death. While we prefer to trade over war, the Galenti's colonial meddling has left us with no choice but to engage in conflict. And their main enemy is the Garistas. Uh, they're the pirate faction. Um, so that's the Kaldari. And finally, the Amar. Let's go to their ships. I basically like the Amar ships for their looks. That's what you get as a free the Empera. Um, if any of you watched my last video, you can see what that's capable of. Um, even as an Alpha, we'll see. That's their hauler, the bestower. That's the one that does all the hauling stuff. And the magnate, which is a specialised frigate designed for scouting and exploration. And the crucifier, a high-tech hull designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons on other... So they show those the same. This is my favourite battleship. Apocalypse, but again, as a alpha character, you won't have access to that. And their weapons. And the Amara Empire fleet is renowned across New Eden for our weapons, efficiency, and impressive armor. And again, they say with the proper skills, you can fly any of the the racist firm ships. <clears throat> now, even though all of these have enemies of those particular um, factions. It doesn't stop you from going to that. So if you're a Ma, you can still go to these three faction areas. They won't attack you because you start off with standings of zero. Um, when you um, do missions for each one of these, if you've got a character, depending on what um, race you're at, if you do missions for Galenti, it's mainly against Amar and Kaldari, I think. Yeah, Kaldari was it mean? Yeah, Kaldari. So eventually, if you do enough security missions for them, you will be um, minus standing with these two races if you're Galenti, because you'll be fighting um, a lot of their ships. So eventually, once you get to minus five, if you try to go into a Marvel or Kaldari as a minus five standing, uh, <clears throat> the police in that area will shoot you and kill you and body you. Um, so it's a balancing act. But if you're continually missioning in one particular area, there's no real reason to go to the other area. Uh, the only reason you may want to go either to Kaldari or Amar is for the trade hubs. That's where the main trade hubs of the uh, systems are. I'm not sure where the min uh, the min are have a trade hub. They may do. Um, so that is a, um, a downside to having these as two as your enemy because the Kaldari area is the main trade hub for the game really it's <clears throat> a system called Jita and that's where you get cheaper that's where most players do all their, their building of the stuff that you can buy in um, EVE Online and so that area is um, the best place to buy chop stuff cheaper but sometimes you can get stuff in your own area sometimes cheap as cheap as cheaper but not very often it's normally slightly above their prices the same with Amar now I can't remember where the Amar trade hub is because I've hardly ever used it I've always used the Kaldari one 
Anyway, so they're sealed tankers again. No, armor tankers, sorry, the Amar. Um, and to me, personally, probably probably wrong thing to say, but personally I think armor tanking is better. You, know, you have a higher degree of survivability with an armor tank than you do with a shield. That's been my experience so far anyway. Whether it's correct or not, I don't know. And then you've got the Amar people themselves. There we go. We are the chosen people. They're a bit arrogant. <laughs> Tasked to reclaim the universe in the name of God. Through the ages, our holy empire's might and power has been upheld by our faith and obedience to the imperial throne. As our emperor's commands, we shall spread the glory of Amar across the stars. So they like slaves. And their main enemy is the Minmatel. And the blood, um, blood Raiders is their pirate faction enemy. So that's basically all the um, ships. Now, <clears throat> I've got to make a decision of which one to choose for myself for this playthrough. Um, I'm tending to go to Amar. I've got four Amar on my other uh, characters, but I like their ships. Um, I'm thinking, oh, maybe Galenti. Galenti, because Foxglow, my main character is Galenti. I do have one other Galenti. And their ships are quite good. Yeah, let's go Galenti. So we'll go Galenti. Select Galenti for origin. Now, I tend to go to female characters now, but maybe we'll... Hmm, let's have a look. Which one shall we look at? It doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. Um, so let's choose... Hmm, Trinity Value Freedom Individual. Yeah, whatever. The Bloodline. Um, doesn't matter. The bloodlines don't make much difference. You can choose any one of them. Let's do that one. Customize appearance. There we go. Okay, guys, that's just a quick intro into it. And I'm going to get ourselves, myself, a character. Don't know whether it's found, going to be male or female yet. Let's have a quick decker. Let's go for male, see what he looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like the females better. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm gonna do this. Create a character. I'm not gonna go through all this. It's quite involved. You can do you can change loads of stuff. But uh, I think that's more or less um, self-explanatory. So I'm not gonna go through that because I wanted to make this uh, initial video quite short. So we're looking at um, roughly 20 minutes. So I've got to make up my mind now what I want: a female or a male. <clears throat> but yeah, it's going to be Galenti. And so I hope someone's going to enjoy this, apart from Gopher. Um, and we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a let's play mostly, but I'll try and explain everything that I'm aware of in the game. I'm not the best. Um, there's obviously a lot more um, <clears throat> YouTubers out there that know, know a lot, lot more than I do about the game, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, guys, so I'll catch you in the next one so I thank you so much if you actually got this far with me in this one and I'll see you soon at the start of the series so cheers guys